Dipping his head, Chase sucked in her intoxicating scent and nuzzled his face against the top of the silky mounds in front of him. He could hardly believe he was touching her like this again. He'd spent more sleepless nights dreaming of her and waking up sporting a hard-on because of, the, because of it than he cared to admit. His chin grazed the tight peak of her nipple, and Chase squashed the little voice warning him to stop before things got any more out of control. Her soft gasp spurred him on, and he pulled the tempting tip into his mouth, suckling her through her shirt. Her gasp rose to a moan and she buried her fingers in his hair. Oh, hi, I didn't see you there. Welcome to <laughs> 400 Punches. Um, I was just doing some light reading here, um, but now that you're here, um, why don't I welcome my co-host Kelly on? We can talk about uh, this week's book club. <laughs> I didn't see you there. <laughs> I was just I was just writing the sequel to that. Um, mm -hmm. I think the format, new format's off to a great start. I would almost go as so far as to say that should be like just that should be the whole show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just I, cowboy erotica or ogre erotica. I was gonna go ahead and say that should be the whole book. Is like literally like basically like anything sexual, but like over top of the clothes. So like like how he was like sucking on her nipples before taking her shirt off. But like literally every every type of sex you can have, but just through your clothes. Yeah, I mean, there are there other types of sex you can have. That's a good point. I've never experienced them, but like they pe people write about them all the time. But yeah, like I thought that was just playground rumors. Mm. Yeah, that's possible. It might be that no one knows how to have sex, but who's to say? I mean, if if we knew, like if we knew how it would be like normal for people to have it, right? They would have it almost even like potentially on a regular basis, like a partner. Yeah. But from true. what I understand from pretty much everyone involved in this show, uh, which is really, that's my sample for everything. Mm -hmm. It's not, it's not a thing. Yeah. I, I th my sample size is about the same size. And yeah, I'd say that's probably not, not going to happen. Paige, you want to weigh in? How many times would you say you've had sex in the last? <laughs> But hang on, Nicole, it's not I, I feel like there's a lot of fixation on the size of samples, but like it's how you use the sample, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, and I mean, like when we're talking size of samples as well, it doesn't necessarily have to be like it, it should be like the girth of the sample, you know, like it should be a wide, a wide sampling. Right. Rather than just. Right. And that's why everyone currently involved with the show is committed to gaining weight in the next six months or so to increase the girth of our sample, like the width of our sample. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah. This is why our stats are only getting better and better. Yeah, absolutely. We went from one viewer to one more viewer. Right. And it's not Ryan and, and that's great. So it's not Ryan. So. And I'm very excited to lose all of our viewers because we gave Paige a soundboard. Um, <laughs> I'm going to, since this is your show, I'm going to put the, the, that blame at your feet. So you're going to put the blame of the soundboard at my feet. Yeah. After you've been insisting for three weeks that everyone get a soundboard. Because I, I, I'm, I'm hands off the wheel. you specifically messaged Paige. Paige is a soundboard. So that she could come. You and have a soundboard. a soundboard. I have nothing. So should I just be like making fart noises back at her to like, is it, should this be just like a fart noise battle? That could be another good pivot. <laughs> All right. Well, here we go. Yeah. How's that going? Yeah. Great. You're yeah. nailing it. Yeah. <laughs> I I especially like how you place the keyboard as far away from you as possible. Yeah, well. It's that kind of innovation that's really going to stand us out. Oh, Luigi, that is. <laughs> okay, anyways. Um, do you have anything you want to talk about before we go here? How, how are you enjoying our lovely city? Uh, honestly, I... I, I got a beef with the blue hoops. Uh -huh. Like they're impossible to get your car through. Yeah. Like I know that I know the stunt jumps are supposed to be hard, but like, first off, there's I can't even find a ramp near them. Mm -hmm. Right. Like you got to use. I assume you have to use those little like, you know, double decker flatbed trucks when they're down. Yeah, exactly. They're never driving by. Mm -hmm. And anytime I'm trying to like set up my own ramp to get through the blue ring, the cops get all mad. Like, is that even how that's not and that's not illegal. 
Yeah, I mean, that's I haven't why hit anyone there, with right? my car yet. Yeah, so. it's like Quidditch, but with cars. You right. Get it through the hoop. So it's not. Yeah, it's, it hasn't been a great visit. Um, but I'm. I don't know. I'm hopeful I'll get it next time. I just. I probably should have planned more. I spent too much time thinking about you know bringing all these cameras down and not enough time thinking about how I'm going to get through the hoop. Or mm -hmm. I don't even know what you're supposed to do with the giant like mesh head downtown. Like what's what's the what's the achievement there? That's a yeah, that's valid. Um, well, luckily to tell us more about Calgary, mm -hmm. we've uh, we've searched long and wide, uh, but not deep to to get uh, a local guest on this the occasion that we are both in. Uh, your city instead of mine. Mm -hmm. And it's actually um, pretty great that our uh, guest today is a an art expert. So maybe she can weigh in a little bit on the uh, art in the city and what the mesh head is for. I couldn't really beat my entrance last time. It was pretty great. I kind of like jumped over and twirled in. Yeah, uh, that See, was impossible. We, we've here. already fucked up again because my understanding was that we were supposed to put a mustache on you, and you were going to be like, uh, you're going to say your name was like uh, Akim, and that you were an actual Calgarian that we sourced out while we were down here. But well, I feel like we've already blown didn't, our cover. Why didn't that happen, guys? Oh, Kelly was supposed to bring the mustache. He said he was going to harvest it from his head hair, but then he didn't have any. So. <laughs> well, maybe we can make one. <laughs> yeah, well, I I assume that's what you've brought is just like mustache props. Basically. Okay. So I'm Mr. Hands Off the Wheel. Nicole is the soon-to-be Mrs. Hands Off the Wheel. <laughs> it's just that that's uh, incidentally also Ryan's last name. Mm -hmm. um, this is what we should actually talk about. We're here to plan Nicole's wedding. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a whole thing. So what are your colors? Um, so kind of this shade of green um, okay. with like. Oh, keep talking, keep talking. I'm doing my best. Right. <laughs> um, yeah, so like but definitely like the shade of green. Um, and then like if you've ever seen like if you've ever seen Shrek, the like also the vest that he's wearing. So like this shade of green and then like just like a crap brown mostly. Do you have any any thoughts on where we could take that? Do you want a third color or? That's a good question. Would you, what would you recommend as a third color? I would go with pink for sure. <laughs> yeah. I, I knew mean, you were going to say how, that. Look at how beautiful those are together, guys. That is pretty great. I feel like people whose crap isn't like within the tolerance of that shade of brown is going to feel really left out. They're like, welcome to our crap brown wedding. And all the people with like really black, you know, outputs are going to be. Like they're just going to feel they're going to feel poop shamed. Yeah, I mean, it's, if your poop is black, you should probably go see a doctor anyways. I think actually it's a, what, an idea. Like, you know how you have like interactive things at your wedding? It Ideas sounds to me like she doesn't want people with medical conditions at her wedding. You know, there's going to be a sign that says so like, if you should be at a doctor right now, fuck off. <laughs> so this is the thing right. is I was, you know, it's not that we don't want them there. It's just we want them to be aware. So like I'm thinking like maybe like all along the wall is just like one of those scales that's like what color is your poop and what does that mean that for you? Like what does that mean that you need more of in your diet? And then it'll match up with our buffet. Oh, you could um, seat people accordingly. Like so instead of I... bridegroom side, you just have like dark, <laughs> <Yeah>. dark tones, <laughs> light tones. Have a color. Do color. I get an invite? Cause um this is really tempting. Yeah, come on down. Great. <laughs> but then you're gonna have to, then everyone's gonna know what your poop's like because they're gonna look up where you're sitting and you're you're a public figure now. It's an honor for them. I don't know what <laughs> Okay. I just I just want you to be aware. Uh that because I mean you have the power to change it. Like I said, you're in charge of planning Nicole's wedding. Wow. Yeah. Um Could you do one of those big paint by numbers and just have only those colors? All the poop colors, and everyone mm -hmm. can go up and you can only paint with your own color. I'm liking this. This is getting more and more interactive yeah like the only thing nicole has insisted on uh because she's she's wedding gloves off the wheel for most of the wedding but she does insist on um her and ryan do get to write the vows and she said her vows are going to uh come out of that book right there mm -hmm. yeah do you want to tell us a little about that book and why why you've chosen your vows from it uh yeah absolutely it's uh really close to my heart it's uh based in calgary um 
<laughs> Fabulous. I, I love the how informative this graphic is. Uh, it, you know, as we can see, uh, yellow means... This color is normally... Oh, that's... It's just normal. Yeah. Normally... I believe these are all normal. Marmot is pressed-fed bubbles. That's mm -hmm. yellow. So... Yeah. Sorry, do you want to run that by me again? <laughs> this color is totally marmot breastfed bubbles. That's what it said. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, that's 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 what my doctor told me to expect, yeah. <laughs> Yellow poop. I'm surprised yeah. to see that red is in a healthy color, because, like, the amount of times... <laughs> can I can, uh -oh. can I count the amount of times that I've been like, woo, red poop. <laughs> like, you know, you got it's like one of those, like, you got to collect every color sort of thing. Yeah. <laughs> Which ones are you missing? Um, so far, just brown and green. <laughs> like all the shades of brown? Like you haven't gotten? Because there's at least, I'm going to say at least two shades of brown. Mm. Um, yeah. Yeah, mostly mostly brown and green. I usually, usually it's like a yellow, orange to yellow to red color, but that's like normal though, right? Yeah, I mean, your... I think as we've established, all the colors are normal. Yeah, right. Fair. I'm ready to move on. <laughs> yeah. <All right. laughs> Oh, yeah, we could move on to that asparagus discussion that we were having yesterday, which is like, what is the normal amount of asparagus for a person to eat that at which it changes the scent uh, of their piss? One. That, that, that's the standard. One. Oh, wow. OK, so you're on team Nicole's grandma. No, no, no. My grandma's pee doesn't smell. When she eats asparagus, she's told me very plainly she was surprised that mine smelled when I eat asparagus. Man, I can't keep up with this. Yeah. I'm gonna like fail this like anatomy test I have coming up. Like I just, I can't <laughs> understand the colors. I can't understand the smells. The anatomy spell, the anatomy test that's particular, like specifically just involving me and my family and what our <laughs> bowel movements look like and what our yeah, the one you like. enclosed with the wedding invitation, <laughs> yeah. saying like you need to get eighty percent or higher, uh, if you want if you want to come. Mm -hmm. It's very very demanding. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well. So you, I it, sent her to study if guide. you're not good at taking tests, you might end up in an awkward situation where, like, you plan her whole wedding, but you're not allowed to attend. Mm. I, was, I was gonna say you end up in an awkward situation where you walk up to my grandma and you go up to her and start a conversation, assuming that her pee smells after she eats asparagus, and embarrass yourself because clearly that's not the case. Oh no, I got I got the whole conversation planned out for when I walk up to your grandma. So, why was this a topic you guys decided to have on the show? <laughs> Well, you got to think of these things when you're planning a wedding. Oh. Like that's just that's just the basics. Is everyone like giving a urinal sample and you're going to smell it just to make sure and then they can come they oh. can come in. I mean, it's not that it's not about their urine so much as just them knowing what my urine is like. But yeah, there will be asparagus there and if they do want to like sample, there'll be there'll be materials if they want to sample themselves, but I'm not, I'm not that close <laughs> She's already out of control. <laughs> This was a mistake. <laughs> Where's the wedding happening? Or nothing is planned? Um, it'll be in Eppington. So wow. So the whole city is gonna get taken over by pea smell, <laughs> asparagus pea smell. Mm -hmm. Well, are you serving asparagus? Have we talked about what the meals are gonna be? I just said I was serving asparagus. Okay, well I wasn't listening. I was trying to text Paige. Mm. <laughs> Are you telling her to cool it with a soundboard? You can just would, tell her. No, I would never. No, I was going to be real sneaky uh, and ask her, uh, you know, if the mics are equal. But now the cat's out of the back. Guys, that who's too. Paige? There's, I don't see who's, I don't believe that this person exists. I mean, she might not. I but. just, the, the sounds are coming from somewhere. Mm -hmm. Are they coming from up your butt? Whoa. Art. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us about it. I've, we've already forgotten what it is. We need to be retrained. Yeah, you were so you were looking for nude models the other day. How'd so that go? I wasn't looking for nude models, but there was there's an art teacher in the building that I'm doing my artist residency at that runs a nude drawing class, and he was looking for nude models. It's a paid gig, so if anyone wants to lounge around naked and have like 20 people stare at you with pens and pencils in their hands let me know like when um i think it was like mondays and wednesday afternoons or something like it's not a, a full-time job or anything 
I mean, but it's it's a gig economy. You get good at doing it Mondays and Wednesdays. Like, soon you'll be booking nude gigs every day, right? Yep. Right. So do we do we need to put like the link for that up on the screen so that people can people can sign up? Um, it's not my thing. I'm just I'm pl helping a friend mm. plug it into the world. So. What is your thing? My thing is um. Well. I don't know. Naps. All right. Is that if that's what we're doing? Today, <laughs> I I told you the art is in your hands. So. I mean. I think you guys have hands too. You can like throw me a ball. Uh, okay. Um, so what we have here is I have an art cam set up. Okay. So if you had a plan for visual art, you can lay it all down there. Um, if your plan, are you, like, do you want to pull out your, your magic bag or? I, I can do that. It's just from my experience with the show is that there's no plan. So I, I also didn't plan. Well, but that's I did, okay. I Page has this covered. I'm so glad. You did bring so, stuff. I, of course I did. Okay. There's also, I found out by accident, this magic desk I have is full of art supplies. I can just start wow. pulling things out of it at random. Let's pull one thing out at the same time and try to compare them. How okay. about that? Um, we're going to make it as random as possible. Mike, I want you to pick a drawer, top, bottom, or middle. Middle. I already took mine out. Do you want to pull, me to pull something from the top or the bottom of the drawer? Top. So a canvas. Yeah. And what do I have here, Kelly? A little bit basic. That looks like a cow outfit. It's got words. It's got the little letters. The description of what it is. Yeah, it's a cow morph suit. Yep. Okay. Wait, what is this? It's got burrs on it. This it's one's for you to wear? I was in the woods wearing this. Okay, as one does. Where else are you going to wear your morph suit? Like, so on the train? That's who wants to pretty... wear a morph suit? <laughs> I feel like Kelly wore it last time, so... Yeah, that's yeah, I mean, the answer. I'm... Enthusiastic, yes. I mean, yes. It's an XL, so it'll probably go over your clothes if that's what your plan was. You're gonna want layers. What what you want in this in this uh, confined basement with three people in a computer running is like mm. five or six layers. I mean, I usually wear it with nothing underneath. Just kind of the seamless look of you know, skin. The words go on the back. Yeah, you wouldn't want like a clothing line under your morph suit. Like that would get you laughed at a high society. It's okay though. We're, we'll let it slide. I don't even know if I've washed that. So like, don't worry about actually wearing it. Should we pull out something else while we do the wardrobe Actually change? wearing it as opposed to like, like she might just like, just wear it in spirit. It's, it's up to her. Okay. Well, she, she, she's got a plan. What's what's our next stage here? We take something. Well, what what about this canvas? Like it's it's wrapped, right? So to me, that symbolizes it's not available for use because it's wrapped up. It's yeah, I mean, it's, it's it's available. We're being told it is available. It's available. It's in your hands. No one can okay. stop you. Okay. So walk us through the process of unwrapping a canvas. What are so, the things we need to keep in mind? So normally, what I, how I approach unwrapping a canvas, right? I'll just like go in with a with a nail and I'll just Yeah, that the ASMR is key. So it's a big part of our brand. You rip it you rip it off. Okay. And are you are you typically doing this one handed or are you just showing off for the I'm like showing off for the audience? Okay. Yeah, my MR is thoroughly AS already. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's fabulous. And you can see, right? Uh, yes. That's that's a confident yes. Let's move on and not uh, investigate any further. So glad this is happening. So next item. Okay. Am I pulling another one too? Yeah, we both we're both doing it. Um. Okay, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna surprise you here. Cause... Yeah, same. I'm gonna get deep. All right. This. All right, the infamous cowboy boot. Right. Those are going on you again. I don't think those are gonna fit not my gonna feet. Fit you. They're also just really nice. Okay. I mean, this. I think this shawl is gonna go amazing with the morph suit. Just... 
Yep. See, this is why we learned so much from you, because I never would have assumed that like art involves so much dress up, but it's clearly everything. Why not? What kind of art are you doing, Kelly? Tell me. Um, like I'm doing what you tell me to do. You're the art teacher. No, I mean like, you know, when you spare time, what kind of art do you do? Oh God. Um is is making a, a fart soundboard for page uh, art? I would say so. Okay. Yeah. So I do a lot of art that I regret. Don't tell me that those were sounds you actually Luigi, recorded. What would your mother say? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not that talented. <laughs> I just I just took them off of the royalty free website and just like ran like a gremlin. So I can't tell you the context in which any of them were recorded, but you know you can you can pick up a lot of the vibe. That's for sure. Okay, so what did what did you pull out? Did you pull something out? Uh, yeah, I pulled out that like shawl thing and oh, like yeah. look at that. Now that is it's a full outfit, right? Yeah, I think it would be fuller if like the the morph suit head were on personally, but I'm I'm not in control here. So I guess there's there's a decision here. If you if I put the morph suit on, I'm not going to be talking, but what does it have like a ball gag built into it? We yeah, can, we can hear you. Okay, cool. your voice actually sounds better. Like it's it's. It's very, you sound like, I don't know, who is like a famously nice voice? Scarlett Johansson. You sound like Scarlett Johansson now. I hear that a lot, like even in my day to day. Yeah. So I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I guess it's kind of muffled, so it's like less shrill and shaky. Definitely. That was the first thing I noticed. I'm like, wow, is the shrillness gone out <laughs> oh of the room? <laughs> it's incredible. Hmm. Neat. Are we, are we just going so, till we're out of things? Yeah. All right. So this, I think. I think it's a maybe a toilet seat cover or just a seat cushion, but would also work as a hat. Um, I will put on anything you throw at me. Wow, you're just on board today. Yeah, that's what I, I like feel to like see. Just very lucky to be like on this side of the camera <laughs> and like you're like on the couch with people and not just like sitting here by myself. Yeah, you're not like the like the Oz behind the the wizard behind the curtain. Mm. That's not a good metaphor. Who's on a screen the 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 one from that apple commercial where they throw the sledgehammer through the screen that's who nicole usually is you look like a french like it looks like a beret mm -hmm. but it also kind of looks like something you clean the house with mm -hmm. yeah it's but kind of like a mime in a weird cult it's where working not though, allowed like, to be visible if you looked at this and you and you were asked who is the artist i think you would guess the pink human yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I do fancy myself an artist, so. I'm falling behind. This is the one that came out with the uh, with the beret. So what is it, Kelly? Um, this is. I mean, can we just put everything on Nicole? Oh, <laughs> this is all right. Um, the, you can wear this like a nose, right? Like, where's that? Where's those rubber bands you gave me? I don't know. You can figure it out. You're smart. <laughs> Do you want anything to wear, Kelly, or are we actually making Nicole wear everything? Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm not in control here. I will not say no to a single thing you tell me to do. You're in control. You're only your upper body's on camera, so... That can be changed. Well, we do have the latex assless chaps again that were worn the last time I was here. I don't want to steal Josh's thunder, Where but, is Josh? Uh, he's, uh, he had to go pull some orphans out of a burning building, so... Yeah. We also have the. It Malakava sucks when people have again. like. When we have such amazing uh, talent surrounding us, they're often needed for things that aren't as horrendous as uh, as this show. So I, you know, you have to give it to them for going and. Because I mean, I was going to pull those orphans out of that building. I don't want to. I might get singed. Um, I think just to remain like fully anonymous, I'm just going to put this on. Yeah, I think we should mix it up. I wore that last face. time, but I mean, I can wear the chaps. You can blur my face for the first half because I, yeah, this, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And I'll, I'll add all our uh, segment themes and post. It's going to be like, it's going to be incredibly Hollywood. Oh, hell yeah. I think you should wear it wrong because we wore it right last time. And I, I, I if you, really fucking good, you guys. Look at that. yeah, it's good. Yeah, I'm going to do it because I made the mistake of putting jeans on and jeans are the devil's pants. Uh, they should be uninvented. How are you doing over there? It's great. I love it. 
just like maybe we can. This put... is how I imagine that like people that don't want to wear masks in a store think that they feel when they're wearing a mask in a store. <laughs> does a morph suit count as a like? Does a morph suit block particles? As in, like, or legally, do you have COVID to wear a safe? mask? Yeah, like under or over your morph suit. I think that at this stage in COVID times, people would not question a single thing if you were wearing that. Yeah, I guess I'm trying to put ourselves back to like a year ago. Were you allowed to just morph suit in the grocery store? Yeah. That's oh man, I missed every opportunity. I can see the particles forming already because like, they were it's cool. definitely catching some of them. They were cool back in like 2012 ish. Right. They yeah, were they, like, were, oh they were they were they were clearly ahead but of their time. Now they aren't cool anymore. They went so, passe with before the masks were needed, which is it's one of those great ironies of history, right? Uh, yeah, I would agree with that. All right, I'm gonna if I can actually move my hips here, I'm gonna go and put these on. <laughs> can I please know who Paige is? I'm so lost. And also, where's my mouth? Um, Paige is the magic. Yeah, what, what was the name of the Power Rangers? What was their... They were called the not Power Rangers? <laughs> the, no, they are like dad's name. Or not their dad, but you know what I mean. He was always on a screen. Paige, help me out. I feel like I've made it super clear. I've never watched Power Rangers. Mm. This is what we need. Oh. So this well, yeah. um, balaclava was actually made by my good friend... Um, whose Instagram is in the spirit garden and she does some awesome stuff so check that out mm -hmm. and she made these this awesome mask for me I also have a green one so I need to, you know, plug my artist friends when I use their beautiful creations in my. I notice it's like kind of fishnetty. Is it like keep your face warm? <clears throat> it's very warm right now. Nice. All right. I'm going to have to find a way to get your legs in there. Do you want to yeah, just switch sort spots? Because thank you. Paige. This is a no, lot that's, of light. Uh, I, I would never take away the vaunted, vaunted guest spot. See, like now, this is perfect because I'm comfortable, right? Well, but where's the ass, though? They're assless chaps. Well, the audience has got to earn that, right? Okay, um, that's fair. They got to they earn that by sticking with us. I'm going to slowly just kind of like... Oh. Yeah, just creep up over A time. Tease. With the occasional hint of thigh, right? Yeah. It's like clickbait, right? You got to have the thumbnail, like, will be from later on when it's just like wall-to-wall -wall asses between us. But... You know, once they're once they're watching through the video, they're gonna be like, "Well, this ass better be coming," and it might. <laughs> the ass better be coming. That's right. That's exactly how I'm gonna phrase it. So I also brought um, this uh, modeling clay. So if anyone wants to, okay. Now this is play new. Around. Oh yeah. This I like. There's blue. There's pink. Right. Pink's definitely a theme. It seems. Is there, okay, so is there like a law about like if someone hands you pink modeling clay, are you only allowed to make penises with it? Um, yeah. Okay. That's kind of what I did. I should have brought my penis model. I actually do have one in my studio. I'll send you a picture and you guys can put it in in post. Yeah. If that's a thing you do, I don't. You know. had you had a penis model. You didn't bring it. Yeah. Okay. Well, on your third go around. I also accidentally made one in in my pottery class too, so that was cool. Okay. Yeah. I mean, we could just make some right now and just compete. Yeah, why don't like, we just do that? We could, it yeah, take it. We take could it build it the rest so of Shrek's pink. body. <laughs> <laughs> we can give him a whole new look. Well, we do need to. I would. Yeah. Do you have any tiny pieces of clothing that will fit on that Shrek model? No. <laughs> what color did we say? Did we decide that Ogre's penises were? Was it purple or blue? Did we decide? Yeah. I feel like you wrote that. I mean, I wrote it, but I feel like there's a whole discussion later on. Right. Okay. Yes. I think it was purple because my idea was that the ogres, ogres are generally blue. Right. And then they uh, get so engorged with blood that they turn purple because the red and the blue together. 
Also, as a pitch to our current viewer, uh, if you want to call into the show and instruct us on how to do this art, uh, you can get uh, our, our producer can like put an invite link for you in the chat. Okay. What were we talking about with this before that? Making right, making tips. No, I was looking for small clothing. <laughs> Why don't you make a shirt out of plasticine? It's right in front of you. Just kind right. of like, don't, I can help here. I'll help you. I'm just going to. It's roughly his size. I, I fucked up. It fell short. You're going to have to walk all the way around just to get it. Oh, boy. Okay, wait. We're all making a deck for Shrek? <laughs> yeah, he's going to have three decks. I'm going to make his shawl. Uh, yeah, I feel like we could all focus on a different body part because we've only we've only got so many hours to get it done. Um, that's okay. I'm gonna make him a crown so he looks like Infinity the prince. Infinity scarf. Should should we put should we put Shrek on the art cam? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, so the art cam is on oh man there's there's so much going on with this wow. camera layout now yeah, this is a lot I love that. there you go oh now i knew no you're hear what you're saying about our cam i didn't yeah know. i didn't get that at first yeah no fooling hmm. all right so i feel like i've made one of his testicles okay well um is this too big i'll believe it when i see it we need the main well, feature here, i could split this into two i could be less place. lazy can you make one and make the other? Yeah, so that's that's one. This is the other. Okay. What if we actually we each build it behind the desk where the other can't see it, and we're just gonna try to see if we can get the same size? Or do we want the same size? I hear that. Let's just each make our own choice, like right? All the rage these days. It's like rock paper scissors. We reveal at the same time. Right. But like. Okay. So pick the size you feel is more conducive to like. To being an ogre, I guess. Uh, while we're silently modeling, <laughs> uh, I mean, it is a it is a visual medium. We can we we can model in silence, but uh, why don't you tell us what's going on in town? You're doing you're doing an artist residency here. Yep. Oh, uh, yeah, of all the three of us, you're going to have the hardest time talking while doing something. Actually, that's why I'm fully in favor of it. Yeah, so uh, what do you, like, are you go get, Are you getting displayed? Are you going to be in a gallery? Yeah, so I'm going to have some work up at Loophole Cafe, which is in downtown Calgary. Don't ask me the address. It's near, um, you know that tank? There's, like, a tank by the armory or something? A tank? Yeah, like, a oh, like, down by the military museums? Maybe. It's by... Uh, the the contemporary art gallery okay I'm not familiar loophole cafe it's going up this weekend um so go get some coffee and check it out and then it's gonna be we're gonna have a closing party on may like 15th i want to say it's a friday so that's a good time to come out buy some art is that the May long weekend no, it's the weekend before that. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So thir Friday, oh, Friday the 13th, guys. <gasps> yep. Can I open anything that's in here? Yeah, go for it. I have to use it all before I move away, so. I think I've got, uh, I think I've got some arms in the works for, for our, for our, we have, now we have a nude model, really, when you think of it. Perfect. So we could, we if your if your friend is still looking for nude models, we can build one, stand that in the middle of their drawing class, and then the students can just draw this. Yeah, I don't think they're looking for uh, human anatomy or anything like that. So yeah, well, what we're really doing is like the perfect form, right? It's like yeah, higher than human. It's ubermensch. Hmm. All right, are you all ready? Show me your testicle. Uh, I've lost it. <laughs> no, I got it. All right. All right. Oh, you've even got a little dangling. Well, I mean, it's got to be connected. Otherwise, yeah, again, this is one of those situations where you should be at the doctor right now. Yeah, that's a fair, fair assessment. And um, there we go. I don't know if you can see. I put little veins on mine. Oh, wow. That's now you're just showing off. <laughs> so I feel like, OK, so we have we have Shrek's shoulders upward 
and we have his genitals. I feel like there may be a bit of in between that might need to connect these things. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't know if you got anything in your. Weren't you working on the dick? Was I? It's a real flat. No, this is a shawl slash maybe hair because it's already got a scarf. Okay, so we're gonna have to come up with something for a torso. It sounds like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're the one with all the. Here. The bag of tricks there, bro. I I have a set of drawers that opens only partially. Uh, I'm now I'm now scrambling around the room for something. So you have a bust. Do you have any like? Do you have any just, just torsos of animated characters on the shelves there? I'm very satisfied with the angle. To talk about my bust. That. Oh, Look that's at that good. smile, guys. Yeah. Hey. Okay, so. Would it be more manageable to make like Legolas's testicles? I mean, it sounds like all of them are going to need it. <laughs> Wait, what if, uh, what if each of those was one of his limbs? Because one of them could be the leg, Alice. <laughs> and I mean, that's that's one pun down out of four. I don't know if we can workshop the other ones. Paige says, move on. Oh, oh my goodness. Here we go. Oh, perfect. Yeah, we, we can use some of these to provide a little bit of structural integrity. Hmm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come around to the front here. Yeah, feel free to change it up. That's this is the art process, Kelly. Is it's it? all about fear and uncomfortability. Okay, then, then if, I mean, if that's the case, then this show has done an incredible job with art. I have to agree. Ninety percent of our our vibe here. Is that comment about Kelly or Shrek? <laughs> What's your creepy uncle story? Uh, my creepy uncle's story. I don't know who wrote that. Someone wrote that in. Yeah, that's one of my. That was that's our one viewer. I I truly cannot see what is behind me right now, so I'm, I'm flying blind. Ethan. Uh, yeah, no, we can elaborate. Uh, I think they're saying that you have the face of a creepy uncle with your with your pink belt. I just want to know the story behind that. I mean, it might be traumatic, so you know what? It's fine, Ethan. Keep it to yourself. Oh, you want to know why Ethan really associates things with creepy yes, uncles? Exactly. That's a great question. Thank you. For the record, I, I think it's apoc apocalypse then, but I appreciate. I think we should just oh, call him shit. Ethan from now on. I'm going with Ethan. <laughs> <laughs> We're going with Ethan. Yeah, no, I like it my way. I want it that way. Tell me why. He ain't nothing but a Shrek. Dick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I figured out the torso. Okay, well, I got some legs and one testicle. So I think I'm going to put them on Gimli. Can we get a, just a little bit of that plasticine as like a glue? Maybe? Yeah. Just to keep. We need a platform. I don't know if it works that way. Also, I was going to eat that orange. I, that was like my like snack for later. <laughs> well, you know, these just came out of the package. They're basically sterile. Perfect. No Shrek's yeah. butt's going on to it. Well. This is, I mean, but it's like you say, art is about being uncomfortable with how clean the food you're about to eat. Yeah, I have to agree be. with that. I have food in my fridge if you would like. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is doing it. You so. know what? I think this is okay. Here's where the patriarchy got me again, because here I am making plastic t testicles and plastic penises. I didn't even think about making a plastic scene. Vagina. I did. Yeah, when you when you asked what we can make out of something pink, that's what I thought you were setting yourself up for. Oh. That was all you guys. I, I was just about to say, you know, you have the opportunity to create something and the first thing you go for is a dick. Mm -hmm. It's not very feminist <sighs> to me. Yeah, once again, I'm going to fully blame Not very hashtag my hands were completely woke of me. That wheel. Oh, God damn. <laughs> all right. I'm glad I'm glad this is the main view people are seeing. 
You guys like that I turn I turn my mic into into an art. <laughs> I like that. It's much prettier. Thank you. Where did all of the um, clips go? Oh, there's one, one here. Yeah, it's far too far for me to reach. But 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 but. Hmm? Yeah, you don't have your suit on. <laughs> well, I didn't want to get this. Oh, I don't well, know. Like me, <laughs> Nicole's plan is to gradually reveal more skin throughout the show. It's oh. just. Yeah, Kelly said we need more viewers, so we're going to be slowly stripping. Guys, why aren't we on OnlyFans? <laughs> yeah. Well, this episode will be. Guys, write in. Should I start an OnlyFans? This is what I'm wearing. I mean, oh, with... Jesus Christ. I didn't catch that. Uncle's story. <laughs> with that outfit, you're, 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 you're insane not to. Oh. We can tilt this up a bit to get a little better angle on Shrek's angle. <laughs> nice little and shot on you, you, also have, you also have this, too. <laughs> Dangle angle. Take it. <laughs> All right. So. Get some camel. <laughs> camel cam. So OnlyFans screenshot. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I, I should have worked on the angle there. Oh boy. I have a solution to this. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, Micah, tell some funny jokes while I go solve this problem. So one of my art goals, um, actually while being here in Calgary was to work with um, robotics and uh, installations to make some kind of interactive sculpture that would be triggered by sensors and uh, set off something like like a motor or um, something, you know, a little bit interesting. Mm -hmm. So what I brought here today to, for us to play with. Now that's particularly interesting because I feel like a lot of artists would say they want their art to be free from censorship. Huh. Where's the where's the sound No, board? no, I'm preempting it. It's a good joke. I want the laugh track. That was delayed. So I took these um, vibrators. Wait, what? Out of uh, out of these like foot massaging slippers that I had. So I'm gonna assemble them. Did you take them out of like quote unquote foot massagers or actual quote foot massagers? unquote yeah. Kelly? Okay. So okay, so we've managed to get Shrek a body, but we still haven't. <laughs> where do you want? Where, where, where... So the goal is that you can't tell that it's that it is what it is, it's just vibrating randomly. That's the goal. So I don't want to be able to see the batteries or the button or the vibrator. It's got to be hidden. So what you're saying is you want me to take this this vibrator and just quickly make it disappear? <laughs> that's that's Only what fast. I'm hearing. <laughs> yeah, we should be charging for this. Can you believe we're streaming this for free? <laughs> so, so for example, very bad example, but like quick sketch. Right. What are, you, what are you doing on my I'm Shrek? Really you, I took to hours. I'm art camp, guys. <laughs> I spent hours trying to get that Shrek down. What the? <laughs> no. Okay, so let's so see what I'm doing I'm not here. good at the impermanence of art side of and things. Then, I actually have a hard time with it. Not a mandala guy. Oh, God. You seem shocked. It's Jeez. moving. So we've upgraded from... <laughs> Thoughts? You are just right in. <laughs> We've we've moved up from thing that uh, has like a a distinctive form and you know like has thought going into it to like vibrating lump. I'm all for it to be clear. Vi vibrating lump is actually the title of my sex tape. <laughs> Cats oh, yeah. looking for it online. Only fans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, follow me on Twitter at vibrating lump. That's what I think we should do with our schedule. We should alternate between like public streams and uh, and OnlyFans streams. Does OnlyFans do streams? Probably, yeah. And probably, yeah. Okay. Yeah, then we can go so from I... having no no viewers on here to having no viewers on OnlyFans. How do I make it turn on? Button. Oh, I guess that would that would <laughs> make sense. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna find out how does the how does the the ASMR with the vibrator go. Again, 
getting a lot of no's out of that. <laughs> I'm going to hand this over to our pink monster over here on the right. Is that me? Play with. Yeah. All right. Get some tactile art going. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Okay. Yeah. I brought the goods. What do you guys expect? As always. All right. So I feel like. I feel like we need to find a way to maybe make our Shrek vibrate. Just my character. <laughs> you want a straw? I'm gonna. I'm just straw. gonna take this thing back That's over again. Yeah. Okay, Kelly's gonna do that. I'm gonna grab you a straw. <laughs> yeah. So, what's happening now? What's We're intermission? Gonna... I gotta pee. Oh well, we have a, we have a, a segue for that. But now everyone knows. All right. Big exciting developments here. Hold your breath, everyone. Come on, come on. You know what? That's good enough. So we've now we've now accomplished like. I'm just gonna lay him down the other way. There we go. There's uh, now you're not getting the Shrek face as much. These are the these are the sacrifices we have to make. But I don't know. I think that's looking pretty good. Maybe I'll just put on a regular camera. So this, oh yeah, the empty chair, beautiful look. So this is this is progress. Um, I think we could. There, there's now room for interpretation of what the front, what exactly the front clip actually is anatomically. Well, I did have a, some genitalia there, but it got discarded. Oh no. Oh, oh, I see. No, that'll, that's going to work perfectly. Okay, we're going to just get that right in there. Uh, it's going to be a little, it's going to be a little mush. It's going to be a little ham wallety. Uh, what hold is this going? <laughs> great, great question. Please help. What are you, what are you trying to figure out? Which How the hold? straw works? Yeah, look. Oh, well, I mean, the thing is made of holes. You can We're choose good. anyone. They all work. <laughs> That's what he said. So many holes. Uh, absolutely. All right. Yeah. So That's it's time fair. to add to our to our human form the the piece de resistance, the uh, piece that people will find resistant. All right. Hell yeah. All right. So Jesus. it's such an aggressive vibrator. You said this was for a foot massage? Yeah, it came out of a slipper that has. How sore are people's um, feet? Well, it's it was like enveloped in soft fabric, so it kind of got muffled. OK, which was my, kind of my thought. Can I, with can I borrow your little too. vibrator sleeve there? Yep. So I think I the think idea was you work. wouldn't know where it was coming from or what it was. You'd just be like, what's this, you know, robotic arousal machine? I feel like we have succeeded in doing something baffling if that was just like the the larger idea there. Like that's pretty close, right? Um, Hell yeah, okay. You know, for someone who doesn't like waste, you sure ruined that orange so that it can't be used for eating. Oh no, we'll eat the orange. Okay. Well, I'll have a third of it. <laughs> All right, so let's flip back to the art cam here. Uh, I call this piece Shrek's Ecstasy or Shrekstasy. Oh, it doesn't move very much. The, <laughs> the plasticine is sort of just absorbing the vibration. Uh, so let's so uh, let's see it in action. Uh, <laughs> action. I mean, do you does it is it interactive or does it just you just look at it? Um, as an art piece, <laughs> it was supposed to sort of move itself across the binder. So everybody, everybody stay tuned. Uh, hey, what else is in your bag? So um, actually, I think we've gone through it all. I, I do have. Uh, yeah, that's that's all I have. But I um, you can start going through the drawers. I've got this beautiful pink, um, you know, bag, a hat. Maybe. Sure, mm -hmm. always. Mm -hmm. Then we can match, Kelly. Uh, all right, one thing, one, one thing at a time here. 
think I've got this. I noticed on your Instagram that your art tends to be pink. Is there, is there a reason that you're like drawn to that as a color? There's a few reasons. One of them is because it's traditionally associated with femininity, and I think that's something I'm really critical of. And um, the kind of like softness and weakness that is associated with femininity. Mm -hmm. I think that I try to kind of like reverse that by using pink in an almost like violent way. That's dripping. So you're all about violence. That's kind of what. Well, yeah. I mean, once you once you've been vibrated for this long, you start to get a little damp. <laughs> I, think, I think our viewers would agree. The delay laughter is a sign of success. All right. So this time, this time it's going to work. Do we have the art cam on? There you go. We got motion. Well, let's strap another one on. We got more, right? <laughs> Sure do. Where's another one? Oh yeah, he's spinning out here. We just get him out of the exact same way. So this. Hmm. I don't know how I'm gonna get the batteries on, but I guess they could both just loop over and then. Oh yeah. <laughs> Now we're cooking with gas. Oh no, we've lost it. Uh, more jokes. Uh, Nicole, a joke. <laughs> Thanks, Paige. See, I think the reason it's not moving as much, is there a third one? Only two feet. I think the reason it's not moving as much is because the, the the vibrators aren't actually touching the surface. We just need to get a bit, get a bit lower with it. Pro know? tip: uh, make sure the vibrators touch the surface that's, that's, and get lower with it. That's what we're doing. Yeah. Oh, that's the terrifying. vibrator isn't doing what you want. Just move it to a different spot and try again. It's all about trial and error. Don't give up. Or you could just ask what Shrek wants. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's a good point. It's communication, guys. <laughs> is, well, Shrek, is Shrek gagged right where's now? Where's the clitoris, Shrek? Something, looks like there's something over his mouth. <laughs> the, the clitoris is currently wedged behind this. This is sort of a chastity device, I think. So Shrek can only be pleasured by like stimulation of the armpits here. This is really uncomfortable, guys. Oh, is anyone cool. else like, why are we doing this? I, I mean, this is this is your art show. I didn't bring Shrek. You guys made Shrek the theme song of today. I can't. I can't argue with that. Why did Shrek come back from being cool? Like why or from it, being like when did Shrek did Shrek was Shrek ever not cool? I think there was a little bit like between the time that we were children and the time that we were able to make memes that he wasn't. But then we found out how the internet worked and he's just been there ever since i but in no way um like i wouldn't have expected shrek to make an appearance tonight i uh had to bring him out as like a a tribute to our homie josh and I ryan see. both of who are both of which are absent tonight and they both like shrek's like their daddy so yeah yeah here That's we go fair. Shrek's to see. <laughs> well, that puts us at the. Uh, yeah, you know, you, you keep working with that. That puts us at 57 minutes. Uh, I feel like we did it. I feel like we solved art. Yeah, I don't think any more art needs to be made now. Like we've we've reached our peak art. I think this is the part of the show usually where you grade our performance. Ah, uh, me? Yeah, you're the art teacher, remember? Um, well, I contributed, so that's a conflict of interest. Mm -hmm. You could rate but us a on our plus, teamwork. Uh, 100% A+. Plus. 
Um, That's incredible. I think I got like a C minus last time. So I think that makes me most improved. Particularly the part where the orange peel peeled back from the surface. Um, art cam. Yeah. So it's utilitarian because you wanted to eat the orange and now it's already partway peeled. Like this the, is what I'm talking about, everybody. The art is doing work for you. This is the part. This is. Oh, <laughs> yep. If it looks like that when you're done, you've been too rough. So and let's you need to apologize. Let's give it a second glance. <laughs> without Shrek. How about that? How does this now? What do you guys think about that? It's kind of got an angry fish look. You know, you've got that like orange flap coming down. Like, I don't know. Can, can we pin this up? This this one up large. Let's get a nice big view of. Oh, that's what I'm all about. What happens if you turn it on? Good question. Are we are we back down to only one vibrator? Yeah, but See, it's that's... stronger. It's even stronger, guys. <gasps> oh my god! It just executed. <laughs> yes. It pulled out. It's t it pulled out. Yeah, we have two. S yeah. Go get them. Well. It has goals. Yeah. It just went straight for that testicle. Yeah, goal. balls. All right. <laughs> Kelly said it was too much stimulation. That's right. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Uh, can we get a can we get a rating from the audience on the art quality vis-a-vis -vis their expectations? <laughs> As a participant, um, my expectations were nothing, and my uh, the art quality I'd say was like an eight out of ten, and seven of those points were going to Micah. So. I reject. I, I don't accept those points. <laughs> I take those as minus eight, actually. <laughs> um, this is did, this is actually like scratching away at the integrity of my master's degree. <laughs> That's fair. Fair point. I'm just such a good friend. That's why I'm here. We appreciate it. <laughs> Shout out to Shrek. I mean, look at that. <laughs> what is this face? Yeah, well, Nicole, why don't you walk us through what's going on here? <laughs> on his face? Yeah. Well, I definitely didn't make that, but it does look like a bit of a face hugger, maybe. Tell us what that is. Have you ever seen Alien? Nope. Oh, well, shit. Um, so a face hugger in Alien is um, it attaches to your face and it implants an egg inside you, and that's how aliens get born, they grow inside your body, and then they burst out of your stomach. Spooky. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, I think uh, our GM might be here. Rip orange. Mm. Oh. I, I brought this as a snack. Yeah, it's fully edible. And I'll split it with you. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Yeah, he also has some fully edible bananas in the fridge um, that are totally black. So, I uh, I question his determination of what's fully edible. Oh, is Kelly staying here? Yeah. <gasps> I'm sorry, Nicole. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, she lost a bat. <laughs> okay. Um, I need to send him an invite. So, uh, yeah, uh, you were going to read your vows out of that book, if I recall. Yep, I sure was. <sighs> oh. oh, good. There's an excerpt at the end from her next book, which is called Shafted, which I'm assuming is also an erotic novel, so... <clears throat> Before she connected, she caught her hands and carefully lay back in the tall grass out of everyone's view, taking Jenna down with him. Now look who's the wild one. And then Chase caught her lips, and with his caught her lips with his and delving deep, held on long past eight. So I think that's uh probably gonna be the main one. Holding on long past eight. Any, um, it's a rodeo reference. So it's uh, cowboys when they ride 
Um, I don't know. I don't know if they actually call them Broncos, but when they ride like bulls, they will, they have to hold on for longer than eight seconds. So Steamy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's lots of little rodeo references in the sex scenes. I'm actually, book. I'm into that. Yeah. I'm into rodeo. Hell yeah. <laughs> I didn't bring my cowboy hat. I was hoping you would so really? that you could like come on with your cowboy hat Fuck. after I read this, but I didn't. The bag was full. It yeah. was full of supplies. Um, I'm surprised you just aren't wearing it all the time. You do you're yeah, wearing just like wear it right now. Um, yeah, I started I'm making reels, guys. So um, you started making what? Reels. It's like the loser version of TikTok. Oh. <laughs> so I, I wear my cowboy hat for the reels. I think I saw one of your reels the other day. Was it was it the art one or the positive vibes one? The positive vibes one. <laughs> that was fun to make. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you want to do you want to run this through one of those? Let's just just do a reel right now. OK, um, we'll clip real. it for let's, you and you can share. Let's it. get real. Oh, God. Yeah. What is that mute button? <laughs> so it, it would be something like, hey, are you feeling down today? You can ask for my positive vibes. Wish you wish you wish. And then how do you get how do you get the vibes to them? Like, do you kind of like email you go them? like this? Wish you wish you wish. You send them out. I'm just going to hit the camera. Yeah, they. So that's another thing is the screen is actually a permeable object in which emotions can tr can transfer. Is it? Yeah. So affect works through like through your through the tips of your thumb and the camera screen. Wait, so you mean all the vibes that we've had on this show through our various episodes so far are being transmitted through to anyone watching? We're so sorry. It depends on like your intention and if you've manifested it. You know, if you're like looking into their eyes and you're like, here's my vibes. Okay. Because I feel like that's exactly what we do. And I feel like. It's not uh, working. Uh, I, I feel like if it has been working, we might be like le legally liable for some stuff. People's emotions are still their own responsibility, though. You can't, right? Like you can't take accountability for how you make someone feel. That's not how it works. As, listen, if you're willing to be our lawyer uh, in that outfit. Yeah, you have a master's degree, right? That yeah, means you I'm law it, technically, right? yeah, able to. I've passed the bar, so. Perfect. Yeah, I passed the bar on the way home. Oh, my God. Did you stop in? Yeah, that was one of the best jokes so far, guys, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing our best. I'm I'm trying to do phone things. It's not going great. Uh, he's on his way. Do you, is there another boot like that? Uh, yeah, it's for you. Oh hell yeah! That's good, right? Yeah. You guys need to turn your mics into props. You can hire me. I will. I'll charge. Uh, we could talk about it after the show. What I'm going to charge? You can have seventy five percent of the money we make off this show. <laughs> you know what? You can take my share too. You can have like a full. It's much, a negative. It's Kelly? a negative balance, guys. Yeah, Don't yeah, bring you up to eighty-five. <laughs> yeah. What? Oh, where? Neat. <gasps> Ooh, so innovative. Tune in for a reboot of our show. <laughs> I didn't get it until after the sound effect came on, so. That that uh. joke hurt my soul. Oh, hey, ooh, that sounded like an Ian. Did it? What are you What are you hearing that I'm not? I heard a. Boop. It went. Boop. Boop. Oh, look at everyone with their fancy young person ears. I hear way too much. That'll work. Hi. Hey, ho. Hey, ho. Person. Hey. How's it going? Uh, well, as you can see, actually, no, I should turn it back so you can't see it. Now I'm just talking into the boot. <laughs> oh, it's a boot. You'll never guess what we're talking about. <laughs> oh, did you all make a boot? <laughs> well, some of us made a boot. I don't know what Nicole's doing over there. Where's your boot? My boot? I don't. I didn't get a boot. I didn't get the boot There's memo. Still the beret, though. Oh, that's fair. I did get this. Sure Plus, we've got we've got this boot down here. But come on, let's see <laughs> Ooh, it. Oh, booty! <laughs> All I right, like, uh, <laughs> Micah's like spring breakers outfit. It's amazing. 
He came in at a very opportune time. Yes. Yeah, so you'll be glad to know we're every bit as unprepared as you think we are. OK, good. Me too, because I put together this in like basically the time that you sent me the link till now. So, but it should be fun. Uh, are you guys ready to play, or what do you want to do? You wanna do? Uh, we're as ready as, did we all get our secrets texted in? Yep. Yes, I got everyone's secret. Okay, so why don't why don't you like set up what the premise is here? Uh, I will. Uh, I kind of want to keep it all a secret, so uh, we can basically just jump in whenever we're ready. No character introductions or anything like that. Okay. Well, why don't why don't you tell us why don't you tell us a great joke about like I don't know train conductors or something while we quickly write down our names and our stats? Okay. Yes. Do that. Oh no, you no, know, not that joke. Fuck. Any joke you want. You're 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 capable. I will I will definitely give you enough time. Okay, here we go. Uh okay, how does it go? It's not it's not a train conductor. It is Oh, uh, right. So the Don't get uh, me don't get tripped up by how my pedantic corrections on the joke. Just tell it the way you originally told it. Okay, all right, fine, fine, fine. So like, you know the the uh double decker buses in the UK uh, there's usually a driver, and then there's a guy who takes the uh, payments and stuff like that and directs people whose name is the conductor. Um, so one day, the uh, the bus is getting ready to leave, and then there's this old lady chasing after the bus. And she's like, wait, wait, wait. And the conductor just like, he has a thing for old ladies. He just hates them. And he's just like, uh, the bus driver is like, is everyone on board? And he's like, yeah, fuck it. Everyone's on board. Just go. And uh, just through a series of like unfortunate events uh, as the bus is pulling away the old lady got caught on the bus and got pulled underneath and ran over and uh she died so uh yada 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 the, this goes to this whole issue goes to court and there's like a, a lot of media attention about it so it just kind of blew up and just through uh going through the judicial process they determined that the conductor was at fault for the old lady's death and he was sentenced to the death penalty so just because of the rules in the UK at the time, uh, he was allowed one final meal before his execution. So it's execution day, and the guy's just going like all out. He was just like, I want like a continental buffet with like all these like exotic and uh, difficult to make like coffee beverages and like like all these different juices and stuff like that. And he's just like making a big deal about it. He's just like, no, 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 no. He's just eating everything. He's like taking one sip of like a macchiato and just throwing it against the wall. And uh, the guards are kind of uh, looking at him, just being like, wow, this guy's a real piece of garbage, you know, just like killing old ladies, just like eating all this delicious food. We never eat this good. So after he uh, eats all this food, he's walked over to the electric chair where he's uh, about to be given his last rites. And uh, the priest says to him, he's like, is there anything you'd like to say before God and us before you die? He's like, yeah, uh, fuck you and fuck old ladies. And they're like, wow, this guy's a real piece of garbage. So like, he looks over to the executioner. He's like, flick the switch. And he like flicks the switch. And he like, bleh, bleh, bleh. he's like, like getting electrocuted for five seconds, which is like the normal amount. And then he flicks the switch. And there's a little tuft of smoke that goes above his head. And the doctor walks up to check his pulse to see if he's still alive. And he's like, he's still, he's still alive. And it's another one of those weird rules at the time, but they had to wait 24 hours before trying to execute again, execute him again. So by those same rules, he was allowed one more final dinner. So he's just like, he's like, you know what I want? I want like a like full like seafood kind of like lobster, shrimp, prawns, crabs, like all this like like a really nice seafood. So they bring it all in. And he's like doing the same thing. He's like dipping one bit of lobster and like this butter and like eating it and throwing it against the wall and just making a real big deal. And the guards are just, yet again, I can see you guys are done, so I'll go faster. So the <laughs> the guards are like, yeah, this guy's garbage. No, you're doing him. great. You're doing great. <laughs> and uh, so uh, after he has his meal, he's like, okay, fine. Off to execution with you. So they walk him over to the chair and the priest like looks at him. He's like, ah, it's you again. Yeah, man, he laughs for it, and he like interrupts, and he's like, "Yeah, fuck you and fuck old ladies." 
And he's like, he looks at the executioner. He's like, give him, give him double the time this time. So he'll flip the switch, and he's like, blah, blah, blah. he's like getting electrocuted for ten seconds now. And like the top of the smoke is a little bit bigger, but it blows up above his head. Doctor walks over, checks his pulse. Fuck, he's still alive. God damn it. And then, so everyone looks at each other and they're like, oh, so that's like another 24 hours. They have to wait. And this time he was like getting his last meal. He's like, I want like, uh, just really specific. He was like caviar and I want curry and I want like uh, Ethiopian food with like injera and like all these like difficult to make very specific things. And so he gets it all and he's just like doing the same thing, taking one bite out of everything, throwing everything against the wall. And the guards are like looking at each other and they're like, I hope this fucker fries today. And they're like, take him to the chair. Priest kind of like looks at him. He's like, okay, any last words? And he's like, yeah, fuck you and fuck old ladies. And he's like, okay, give it to him. So they like flick the switch and they do it for double the amount of time this time. So 20 seconds, he's being like, he's like shaking and like, like powers like being drawn from the entire city block. As he's like just shaking on his chair. And after 20 seconds, they flick the switch again. And the doctor walks over to him and like checks his pulse. He's still alive. And at this point, like the priest has just had it. He like walks over to him. And he's like, God damn you. Why won't you die? And he looks at the priest and he says, I guess I'm just a really bad conductor. Oh, <laughs> oh the face. Your face just dropped. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways. This could <laughs> also be a format we pivot to. Uh, Ian just tells jokes while we make things out of like plasticine. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I once but, cleared an entire room with that joke. I had like 20 people listening and they like everyone everyone left. <laughs> yeah, that's sort of the goal. I think that's the ultimate goal of our show is to have as many people on the stream as possible and like at the beginning and just get them gone at the end. Yeah. It's like a attrition. I just got to get rid of people. All right. Okay, so are your uh, characters done? I gave you like 15 minutes, so. Yeah, I've got <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, I have a name, an appearance, a background. I have some stats. I have unique talent, and uh, I even have uh, a little, little avatar here. I didn't know oh, what nice. to make. Okay, I'm you, doing you can it. Do anything. There's no, there's no limits. The only limit is your imagination. Your I'm imagination. To put a tiny bit of that pink, though. I need some hands. I got no hands. Uh, okay, so you just want us to just like jump. So for the audience, can I tell them what your basic premises uh like i mean no no well it'll be kind of explained but you can explain okay. how the game works if you want yeah sure oh i'm explaining uh, yeah i asked if you wanted to <laughs> all right we're doing uh extremely stripped down tabletop role playing with Three basic stats. Mine, uh, oh God, what did we call them? They're called body, understanding, and psyche. Um, so body is just your physical abilities. Understanding is like your knowledge and cognition. And psyche is kind of a catch-all for everything else. It's your guile, your wit, your charm, and everything like that. General. No, you start them all at minus one, and then you add four <laughs> points as you see fit. Um, and you only need to do it for the first three. How so do just dungeons? Just just do like two zeros and a one. So I wrote 10 good. for body because I thought it was like, how good is your body? Pretty and highly I wrote yourself. zero for understanding and five for psyche. So that's wrong. It's a little high, yeah. <laughs> so zero. <laughs> they have to come out to an average of 0. 0.33. I'm not good at math. Just like three. They're all, they're all minus one and you get to add four total, total wherever you want, okay. but ignore the fourth column there. The special? Yeah, we're not okay. we're not doing it as far as I know. Yep, no special. Okay, so I'll also say that uh, rather than being set in like a fantasy world or like I don't know a space world or an underwater Atlantis, this is just sort of a real world um, premise you have here, right? That's correct. Yeah, this is okay. this is I can tell you it is the Easter themed adventure. Right, and you've gotten us all to have a secret that you know, but the other each other doesn't. Yes, exactly. Yeah, everyone. Do we have a goal here, or is that just going to? Are we just going to start playing our characters and see what emerges? I will. Uh, I've got like a bit of a prelude, a preamble that'll kind of explain the the premise of the secrets. 
Okay, so, that that's yeah. what I was gunning for was your preamble. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, then that's just us starting right now. We're going. Let's do ready? it. All, All right. I've been I've been ready since the day I was born. <laughs> that is what you are known for. Uh, let us. Yeah, we'll start. All right, so you all fade into consciousness, um, or at least you think you have. You feel as though you've opened your eyes, but all you can see is total darkness. You come to the conclusion you must be awake because you have a throbbing headache and your wrists hurt. As you're trying to make sense of what's happening, you hear an eerie voice bellow out. Hello, everybody. Or should I say, happy Easter? Or it would have been had you not done what you did last year. People have suffered, and you've almost got away with it, too. But nothing is hidden from me. And now I'm going to make you suffer. And you will face three trials. One yeah, for excuse, every... Excuse me, de demon man. <laughs> yes, what is it? Uh, do, are, you, are, you my, uh, are you my ride to the family, Dana? I'm late. <sighs> are you the Uber? You, you will, you know, you, uh, this, I have authority right now. You don't ask me questions. I'm telling you stuff. Okay. Just, Are you from out of town? You got a, you got a weird accent. It's, it's, uh, from, uh, it's the Bronx. It's, uh, but it's, uh, we're immigrants. Anyways, it's not important. Are you uh, omnipotent? Yeah. Look, you'll find out. <laughs> As I was saying, you will all face three trials. <laughs> one for every family's holiday that you have ruined. You all have a secret you've held on to. Can you hold it on for a little longer? Each trial will have clues from your past to help you solve the puzzle. Only one of you will truly know the answer. But the end, if everyone finds out your secret, you'll be totally super embarrassed and quite possibly die. Good luck. And as you, the, the voice finishes this ex quick brief explanation, uh, all the lights come up. And you can see two other people in the room. Everyone has hands, the, their hands handcuffed in front of them. And there's a steel door with a timer above it. The steel door has a picture of a painted Easter egg on it. And just as a mechanic, I'm giving you 10 minutes to solve each puzzle. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, so what we see, like we're kind of in like a featureless void with a big steel door. Uh, yeah, you're kind of like in a, like, this is this is saw. We are doing a saw thing. Like, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's and uh, so you're like in like a tiled, like really grungy looking like basement kind of room. And there's a the one steel door. It has a painted Easter egg on it. And you can see like a timer above the door. Um. Yeah. So there's. Uh, is it an egg timer? It is. It is. Hey in, in essence, it is. <laughs> and uh, no, but it has ten minutes. Uh, yeah, so you can see, like, you, you can finally see yourselves now. You've got your ha hands handcuffed in front of you, and you can see each other. So you're all kind of in this room right now. And it seems like there's a uh, a key. That's like a keyhole for all of the handcuffs. Um, yeah, that's it. That's the beginning of the puzzle. Is it, okay, so do we, can we ask you questions about the puzzle, yeah. or should we yeah, just... Totally. Okay. Yeah, totally. What do the key Do the keyholes all look the same? Does it look like the same key fits to all of our handcuffs? Uh, yeah, you can, you can, you, it's all, yeah, it's all classic keyhole action. Like imagine like an old timey, you know, manacles. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, okay. So I'm going to look around what it, and see what else is in the room. Yeah, go for it. Um, do you have to roll understanding for that? Uh, or should I just look around? What else I, th I think, uh, talking to each other, you'll have more, more luck figuring out the puzzle, but. Oh. Uh, yeah, what? Well, don't ignore your, me, your Aunt Susan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who are you guys? <laughs> well, have you forgotten your Aunt Susan? I know I'm only here once a year on Easter, but it's, uh, you should recognize me. I'm the one who looks haggard. Oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry, Auntie Sue. I, uh, me, your nephew Craig. Yes, of course. So how could I forget <laughs> my nephew Craig? Uh, well, I mean, I, I are you all related? Be, yeah, I can imagine you'd be uh, a bit. You might not recognize me. I have been in and out of rehab a little bit in the last few years, and uh, sure, like physiotherapy. Yeah, sure. Yeah, let's. Yeah, sure, Andy Sue. Whatever mom told you. Um, <clears throat> well, obviously, what Mormons? It couldn't be anything else. <laughs> yeah, totally. Uh, 
yeah anyway so uh yeah it's just uh me and uh obviously our rel relative who's also here how are you R relative <laughs> cousin Rel relative speaking as papa mama the name's, the name's bubble butt <laughs> <laughs> So you're not going with the family name anymore. You're going with the Instagram handle. Is that it? How could you forget me? I'm Bubble Butt. <laughs> How can you go for a name like Bubble Butt when you got gifted a beautiful biblical name like Esther? <laughs> That's my street name these days. That's my dead name. <laughs> Never speak that name again. <laughs> well, as your weird aunt, but who is at, at least trying to be an ally, I will do my best to call you Bubble Butt, Esther. I mean, Bubble Butt. I mean... Yes. I appreciate that, Auntie. Yes. Well, I haven't seen you guys since last Easter. What have you what have you guys been up to? Well, I'm gonna be honest with you. I I haven't been doing much. I I'm terrified to go outside. Uh because I just I just was reading a National Geographic and it said there's a hole in the ozone layer. So it seems like uh <laughs> now is a bad time to be going outside. So I haven't, I, I just been staying at home and watching Maury. Uh, and, and Susan, how, how old are those National Geographics? I, I, you know, it's really hard to read the years, very small print, but they look new because they have computers on the cover. <laughs> Some of them do. <laughs> Famously National Geographic, the magazine that loves to have computers on the cover. Okay, <laughs> almost, almost in, in like a semi-frustrated voice, you hear like a click from like a like a speaker is like uh may i remind you your lives are in peril uh, this is not <laughs> time for idle chit chat i'm i'm so serious about this oh, so, wait are you are you omnipotent like are you able to kill us is this in your power oh i i certainly could do that but okay I, I, well i was trying to make a survival game but you guys seem totally content just talking about national old national geographic catching up. catching up on family no memories. i understand listen why don't you we we would like to like i said i'm trying to be an ally even of our omnipotent beings we would like to play your game in good faith so why don't we start the 10 minutes now now that we've shaken off the cobwebs and we remember who we are and who each other is okay i think i think if you'd be so kind I think that would be interesting for me because your time is basically over so let's start right. again <laughs> Well, you know how we get going. We gab like gales around the holidays. Yep, chit chat, ha ha. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I will also uh, just just on how that first ten minutes went. I will al also offer a hint uh, at the eight minute mark, uh, but it will eight definitely... minutes in or eight minutes left. Eight minutes in. God damn it, Aunt Susan. I mean Susan, regular Susan. <laughs> Wait, is um, this cousin Jeremy? Nope, 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 nope. That would be weird. Putting us through this, Jeremy. Nope, 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 nope. That would be weird. Nope. Oh God. Uh, <laughs> no, eight minutes in, but it will most certainly reveal the identity of the secret holder, probably. Making okay. That... Okay. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we okay. We need to talk to each other to figure out the secret. Uh, we're handcuffed. Uh, does anybody? I have about fifteen thousand bobby pins that holds up my my beehive. Maybe we could use that to pick these. Can you grab some of these yeah. out of my hair? Yeah, I'll get some. Uh, uh, bubble butt. Yeah, I'll grab some with my teeth. Okay. Okay. Do I have to roll or just do it? Uh, I feel it. well. <laughs> yeah, roll. <laughs> Why not? Okay, wait. Can we turn on the dice cam for the roll? The the art cam is the dice cam. There oh, we go. Dang! Look at that. Oh. Yeah, so you can also see... Oh, it's not... Oh, there's that bubble butt. Bubble. Yeah, that's, that's gotta be bubble right, so butt. Bubble butt is rolling. Bubble butt. Bubble butt. Bubble butt. Yeah, and then you can just toss your dice in there. Then no one can cheat. So, what am I rolling for? Uh, I think this is a body no. move. Body? Two dice? Yeah, two yeah, you roll two. So, four? Yeah, four uh, or whatever your body is. So, you... five? Four, oh, four, five? Oh, five. Five is not good. Uh, five is really good. Five. You is... can do better, Asta. <laughs> so you, uh, yeah, so I'm going to give you a price to pay Don't on that. Don't dead name me, Susan. Six, six under that. <laughs> Wait. You, uh, you managed to get your face inside of Susan's purse. 
um, and you pull out a singular bobby pin. But in the process, you've accidentally knocked Aunt Susan's purse onto the floor, and all of the, the rest of the bobby pins scatter, scatter onto the ground, and uh, fall down the, the drain. Puppy! <laughs> it's a puppy! So yeah, you access, you have access to one bobby pin, and the rest have fallen down the drain. So do I, okay. and it's in my teeth because I grabbed it with my mouth. So now I get to try it in the lock, or is it someone someone else? I know but. you know how to do this. I've seen your reels. <laughs> You're always tied up and getting out of situations. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, look at all the restraints I wear and how I can get out of them. Isn't that what you? <laughs> isn't that what your reels are on Instagram? I see. I'm hip to what the kids are doing. Aunt Susan, you've been I'm not that my, old. I'm only thirty five. You've been creeping my only fans, Aunt Susan. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm creeped out. That, that's what Instagram is. That's, no. what, I, that's oh, what I always no. love about Aunt Susan. Is she's always she's always willing to support her family in any way she can. I feel like we're getting back into the backstory. Okay, so we got, <laughs> we've got one bobby pin. Can you use that to? Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. How does this go? <laughs> I don't know. That's, well, that's, that's, that's the sound a body of a dick roll. Lock if I ever heard one. That's a body <laughs> roll if I ever heard one. Help. So much dice. Six. Six? Uh, I mean, one. Six. That is also okay. Uh, yeah. So you actually managed to pick Aunt Susan's lock. Uh, but the bobby pin has broken. Well, that's so too that's unfortunate Susan. for you kids. I guess I'll get out of here and I go and try to open the door. Um, and you uh, you try and pick it, uh, open the door, but it's like jammed solid. And then the uh, the timer at the top of the uh, door just kind of like ramp, ramp, like flashes red. Okay, how much time is left on it? Uh, you're three minutes and thirty seconds into it, so. Okay, are there any like? apparent controls, interfaces, slots, little like divots on the door or something. This is definitely one of those like a uh, submarine style, like wheel steel doors. Oh, maybe we all got to work together. You notice, I, I can't believe I didn't notice it. It's got a very obvious wheel on the door. <laughs> <laughs> can we can we all grab it at the same time? Maybe I know you got your handcuffs, but I know you're used to that. And I could use my other grip. It's my butt. <laughs> oh, that's got to be like a, a special that's a, ability. That's, that's its own definitely thing. a body roll with advantage. <laughs> all right. Yes. So we're all going to try and grab it and roll together? Do we all have to roll body? Uh, yeah, sure. Go for it. Okay. Well, well, it well, make a difference because that's not how you open it. All right. <laughs> I'm a minus one. I got that early onset arthritis. <laughs> oh, fuck nice. yeah. I got <laughs> nice. a nine. I got a four. I got eight. Nice. Uh, yeah, so you all like try and turn the wheel, but yet again, like the, the red flashing like timer, like rah, rah, goes for, and it says five minutes currently. Okay. What if we turn it the other direction? Maybe we just type <laughs> it. Which way did we turn it? <laughs> Seems like it's all planned to me. Let's do it again. All right. Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Oh, damn. I got an eight. Ooh. She got a 12. Yep. And I got an 11. Unless it's always a critical success when we roll 12. I don't know how the rules that's, work. That's fucking amazing. Okay. Like, you're like, oh, yeah, we'll turn it the other way. And then you're like, it's just like, like, you hear just like, like bending steel. And just like junk, <laughs> and like the wheel really just like spins, as like bolts fly off, and the door just like <laughs> squeaks open. And uh, oh, uh, Jeremy, that's just what you wanted, isn't it? God damn it! Wow, holy shit! How strong is that ass? That's that's amazing. <laughs> holy darn! That's why she gets the followers? Okay, well, your hands are still tied, but <clears throat> have fun. Not mine. <laughs> okay, let's go. And I just dart through the door. Come on, children. Right on. Start running. Okay, so yeah, uh, you have managed to completely bypass the puzzle and break the door. <laughs> bring, bring on but, the next one. 
And <laughs> we're That's go how we do it. I always bypass the puzzle every Easter. I say, okay, we're going to do the big Easter crossword. But I actually check the uh, the answers in the... I get the next day's newspaper from the... Because they're from Australia. It's tomorrow. So I just get the answers. Shut up. <laughs> And I just right. start reflecting on how maybe the fact that I've never faced any consequences and I've never had to do anything properly is the fact the re reason that I end up having to go to rehab. But anyways, <laughs> continue. All right, so yeah, you guys walk into the second area. Uh, this area actually looks like it's like been done up like a, a dinner dinner room and uh, uh, a dining room, I guess they call it. Um, and there's a stuffed stuffed bunny, like a, a human sized stuffed bunny, just like hanging from a noose in the middle of the room. Oh my with, god. <laughs> with a like uh so it's like a steel chain and like a like steel like saw style like lock around its neck with like three red lights on it. You look Jeremy, I know you say it's not a phase, but the goth thing is a bit much. <laughs> it's Easter, sweetie. It's a time of pink and blue. Oh uh, yeah, and again, not Jeremy. Click. Uh <laughs> <laughs> and you uh, look around the room, and there's like a like a full uh, dining set with like a bunch of mannequins, and they're all wearing like their their finest Easter clothing. Um, and they're all kind of like posed at the dinner table, like they're eating dinner. Um, and then also at the end of the end of the room, you see the same style of steel door, which I might regret saying it's the exact same style. <laughs> Um, at the end of the room with like a small steel cage beside it. And that's, that's Oh, I know how room. to I know how to open these doors. <laughs> <laughs> so this nope. is another like, No, don't do it. Do, do the puzzle instead. So it's a puzzle. So we're not just here to hang out. <laughs> What's the puzzles? Is it a is it a Sudoken? <laughs> I think we it's should like, try it. Is it numbers? And then, and then Jeremy, the, is it numbers? The timer starts <laughs> counting down above the door. I think we should try to It's numbers. It is num Susan <laughs> I need to. Okay, let's focus. Answers. I think we should try to pinata the stuffed bunny off of the ceiling. Okay. Uh, let's like let's like hit it so that its insides fall out and find out what's inside it. Yep. Is it he yep. said he, he said it was stuffed. He didn't just say that mm. it was a bunny, or you know that it was, you know like a, like a toy. He said it was a he was said it was stuffed. Yeah. yeah. So I'm there's down. something in it. I'm gonna it's try like a, and rip. Oh what? yeah, go for it. Nope, go for it. Oh, I'm going to try and uh, rip the arm off of one of the mannequins and beat the shit out of this bunny with it. Jesus. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's and a body roll. That's a body? I don't know why I keep trying to do physical things. Um, six. All right. Uh, yeah, you, you do manage to rip off the mannequin arm, and you start hitting it, but it causes about exactly the amount of damage that you'd expect, expect a mannequin arm to do against a stuffed animal. It's just like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take it. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, nothing yeah. nothing falls out of it or anything like that. Plus it's very hard to hit it because your hands are tied together. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to like run and jump it's onto it. rude of me it. not to help you. I just washed you with your hands. Yeah, yeah, you were just washing. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. I'm going to run and jump onto the hanging bunny and like swing it till it breaks. Like till yeah. it rips at the neck. Right. Yeah, swing on it. That's a body roll. We have twelve. Twelve? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> you managed to uh, jump on the rabbit, and you're swinging from side to side on it, and you're doing it excellently. Um, but it it does not manage to damage the the rabbit. But you're very very good at swinging on it. Rude. <laughs> so, so you said it's got like a, a something around its neck with three lights on it. Three red lights on it. Yes. Three red lights. Okay. I don't know. I don't know if this bunny thing is worth investigating. You know, I bet you it has something to do with the centerpiece of the table. <laughs> what is the centerpiece of the table? It's I don't know. What is, I, I look at the centerpiece of the table. I gesture at it. It's a cornucopia. Mm -hmm. Cornucopia. <laughs> And so, okay, the mannequins that are sitting around this table, do they look like our family members? Is this like a reenactment of our last family dinner? Uh, it, it definitely seems like a reenactment of a family dinner. I guess they're all related. So, yes. Yes, it is. Okay. Is, is, uh, is there a mannequin that looks like Jeremy? 
Uh, 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 why? <laughs> I mean, why? Click why? Why? Why would you be looking for Jeremy? <laughs> Jeremy's probably he's Jeremy. Probably I wasn't there. asking you. I was asking the game master. It was table talk. Oh right, click. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. One of them looks like Jeremy. Why not? Jeremy, is this supposed to be you? That was the click. character. <laughs> <laughs> click. No, that's not me. No, I'm not here. Damn it! Fuck. Click. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to try and just start eating things out of the cornucopia and seeing if that changes the lights on the thing. Uh, oh, sweetie, I saw Pan's Labyrinth. It's a bad idea. <laughs> uh, yeah, you eat an apple, and it's crunchy and delicious. Cool. Well, then I eat an apple. <laughs> do the lights yeah, it, change? Are the lights changing, or are they just the light, static? The lights did not change. But were they changing before? What uh, were nope, they? They, have, they have yet to change. Were, yeah. were they red? They're, they're all currently red. And yes, they are red. Okay, I'm gonna try and move the the mannequin that looks the most like me and sit in its place. Uh, oh, yeah, that 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 would be smart. Yeah, so you toss the the mannequin aside, and uh, you take a seat. But it does not change the red lights. Although I thought that was a good. I didn't know you guys were all gonna be family members for this. So. <laughs> oh. Oh, I guess that makes sense. No. Okay. Wait. What made the lights change? No, no, they no the lights have not changed. changed. Oh, okay. Yeah, I assumed we were all one family, but apparently not. Oh. Well, now yeah. you are. Well, we are now, but... That was <laughs> Maybe not time. everyone at the table is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so, okay, in this room, we have the door, we have the table with the cornucopia, mm -hmm. we have mannequins seated around it, we have... Um, bubble Butt swinging from a stuffed rabbit. Right, we have a stuffed shame. rabbit that now right. um, Bubble Butt is swinging from. Am I missing anything? I, I examined my surroundings. Uh, yeah, so <clears throat> I'll just kind of give you what you know before. But yeah, there's the ca there's a cage beside the door. It seems like it's like it's on like a little pedestal thing. Uh, there's the food laid out and like the mock dinner with all the mannequins that they're all wearing, like their finest Easter clothing. Um, and then there's the rabbit hanging from the noose in the middle of the room. Oh, I don't with, remember the cage. Maybe one of us should get into the cage. It's a Except it's a I... it's a pet size cage. Okay, I can fit. I'm a butt. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, based on what I'm seeing here, I'm not sure. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna help Bubble Butt try and cram into the cage. <laughs> yeah. All right, both of you roll body with disadvantage since you're both handcuffed currently. Fuck. Oh, is <laughs> there is there butt. is there butter on the table or like uh, margarine or something? <laughs> Oh yeah, if you want to assist with some, uh, there's gravy. Yeah, I want to like grease up the bars. Yeah, there's gravy. But don't grease up the butt. <laughs> well, we grease this up both because one family. has to get past the other, the outside of the butt. I'm well, not being one weird. One thing it's I've, family. Learned, I've heard about butt stuff is when you think you have enough lube, you should use more. So gravy, I think gravy and butter together. Ooh. <laughs> <Oopsie>. <laughs> butts I, also. I'm supposed to use a a dairy based one and a meat based one. That's what they say. <laughs> <laughs> you can't just have one. That's what yeah, it is. What they always say. Well, I rolled a nine. Okay. Oh, do I need to roll to help, or what am I doing? But did uh, I just apply yeah. the Sorry, gravy and step away? What, what but, do you mean roll with disadvantage? Is that like a so, negative one? Or? Uh, so I want you to roll and then roll again, and then we take the the lesser of the two. So rude. <laughs> I got a seven. All right. Wow. wow, that's even better. Okay, um, uh, so we're gonna say it's a clutch move with the butter and the gravy, um, and you do manage to fit uh, one cheek in, and then it's like quivering as you're like pushing on the other side of it, and it pops right in. <laughs> yeah, and, and now like bubble butt, you're just your body is just kind of like hanging in midair, but the butt cheeks are inside of the cage. So, like, all four limbs are just kind of, like, dangling Small. out of it. And we solved it. Mm -hmm. right. And, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> like, <I'm not> <laughs> so, if I understand what you're saying, you have, like, a cage here, and we've popped the butt into it, and yep. Bubba Butt is just, like, hanging in the air from the cage? <laughs> yes, exactly. The, uh, their butt? Thank yes. you for that visual. Thank God. And, I'm, class okay. and I'm handcuffed, too, so. Yeah. <laughs> and you're handcuffed. Right. Oh god, this is like fulfilling all my darkest fantasies. Okay, wait, but there's like there's like silverware around the table, right? Uh, yeah, there's silverware. 
I want to grab a fork and a knife and I want to try and pick uh bubble butt's lock um while is bubble butt she going that sure. style while <laughs> she's hanging from the bars. Right on. So you grab the fork just as the eight minute mark hits and you hear the voice over the intercom says, Well, 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 a lot of fucking around and not a lot of solving puzzles from these guys. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we got an ass in a cage, and that's 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 as far as this is go. not what you wanted, Jeremy. <laughs> not Jeremy. Anyways, the hint <laughs> is for you, Aunt Susan. You can dress up a situation however you want, but you lie to your entire family. I would never. <gasps> Aunt Susan, what did you do? I can't. I, I I'm torn between whether I'm more motivated to solve a puzzle or more motivated to keep a secret. But we don't know that the secrets are at play, right? We're just blindly like. Jeremy, is it our secret together? solution to puzzles? So, uh, Jeremy, I know you can yes, hear me. Yes, the se- I, I said that in the beginning. The secrets are oh. the solution. <laughs> oh. What? Yes, that's how you solve these puzzles. <laughs> Will you kill? Do I die if I lose? If I reveal my secret, or do I die if I not solve a puzzle? Uh, well, you'll all die if you don't solve the puzzle, and if everyone can guess what your secret was specifically at the end of this adventure, adventure, uh, then you will die. Oh, so if we can solve the puzzle by only revealing my secret in an abstract way. Exactly, yes. Okay, now that we understand the rules, let's start this puzzle back in 10 minutes. <laughs> okay. I'm staying in the cage. I'm going I'm to give, give you five minutes. That sounds great. Thank clear. you, Jeremy. Right, right, you were cool. always very gracious, and you had good manners. So- Thank you, Ash. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and and I, I wink at wherever we're being observed from. Um, okay. Well... I wonder whose secret is the solution to this puzzle. <laughs> Click. It's at Susan's. Oh no! <laughs> we, well, we both glare, glare accusingly at Aunt Susan. Listen, I have to make a confession. Mm-hmm. The I have to make two confessions. <laughs> the first, conf- the voice confession is the Easter Bunny is real. <gasps> The second confession is last Easter I killed the Easter bunny. <gasps> yes. And hence the symbolism. So the only you the hear over the intercom. Puzzle, are, are you sure that's your secret? Because that's not what you told me earlier. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, I walk over to the is there like an intercom panel on the wall? Yeah, there's like a little that now there I is. Put my yeah. hand against the intercom panel and go. Jeremy, I'm revealing my secret in an abstract way so as to solve the puzzle, but not to uh, lay out my guilt. And you hear back, it's like, okay, well, you you gave me a selection of three secrets earlier, and that was one of them. If you would like to change it to a different one, that's okay, too. (laughs) No, Jeremy, it's the last one I texted you. I... I know, but that was also one of the secrets that you texted me. Yes. Yes. Okay, so that was confusing because. Okay, okay. All right. Anyways. Okay. Here we the go. Secret I just. The secret I just gave is a smoke screen for the real secret. We're just catching up on National Geographic. <laughs> Computers, you say? That's wild. Computers. <laughs> Isn't he on speaker? Can't we hear everything Jeremy's yes, the- saying? No, yeah, but that, that that was less expository than what I I mean wasn't saying. Okay, so the real actual secret is that I killed the real actual Easter bunny. Uh and uh let's let's knock open his body and I take like a steak knife and I just try to like carve open the Easter bunny piñata. Uh Yeah, so you, you carve open the Easter bunny piñata and like a bunch of fluff and stuffing falls out. <laughs> well, why did you kill an Easter Bunny, Aunt Susan? Well, uh, it happens sometimes. You and the Easter Bunny are hanging out, and uh, things do, got heated. You, things get heated, and you try to dare the Easter Bunny to uh, to to MMA fight you, and you you, you do a chokehold, but you 
the Easter Bunny is very it, Easter. The bunnies are not very good at tapping out because they don't have traditional human arms, so you don't realize that you're killing the Easter Bunny Sounds with your arm. Sounds very unethical. I don't well, know. You should have come up with a safe word first. No, it wasn't sexual. It was purely about. Uh, it was just purely about. I mean, tapping out just, is a safe word. Yeah, but it's also in mixed martial arts. You would know this if you spent less time on the Instagram and more time on I my never... Facebook posts about <laughs> Muay Thai. <laughs> so I'm, I'm I'm about done with this. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna try and st- take the knife out of your hand and try and hack through the like neck lock thing on the Easter Bunny. Yeah, not Jeremy's like it's a, steak, it's a steak knife versus a uh, like a like chain like chain links. So. Oh, okay. It, it, it does nothing. Is there okay? Is there like an obvious like lock on this? Okay, I I'll give you another confession. I the oh, right, the way. <laughs> okay, I change way... I changed my mind. I'm going to take the steak knife and I'm gonna fucking attack <laughs> Aunt, Susan. <laughs> Aunt Susan with it, and I'm gonna fucking like hold it to her neck and be like, for the love of God, Aunt Susan, if you don't fucking tell us what you did, I'm gonna. <laughs> I'll do Telling it. You I'll the do third, it. I'm the third confession is that I replaced the Easter Bunny with a duplicate so that people, the children, would still have the eggs. And I look up at the camera and I go, "Jeremy, is that right? Is that the is that the real secret?" Nope. Uh, I, I mean, click. Uh, Susan, you're running very short on time. Okay, the nuts and bones of it are correct. The magical parts of Easter Bunny may be incorrect. What? You remember how you had a pet, and then I like cover my mouth. <gasps> Did you did you kill my bunny? No, your bunny's personality and its like fur color just changed last year because I told you it was bunny puberty. It was not a replacement bunny. I can't believe you would do that to me. That's what pushed me over the edge. That's what got me hooked on. I don't know. The bunny puberty pushed you over <laughs> the edge. Vitamin C. <laughs> Vitamin C, I told you that Joseph Smith specifically decried vitamin C as a intoxicant. You can't be consuming that. You're the reason I went to rehab. I'll never forgive you for this. And I'll never forgive myself, which is why I'm going to tell the truth. And I'll accept my death because I'm extremely old. <laughs> I am nearly 36. <laughs> I, I was trying to dress up your bunny as the Easter bunny and I accidentally killed it. Don't ask me how. There's only like a, maybe 30 seconds left on the timer. So you got 45 I replaced it, seconds. I replaced it with a different bunny and told you that it was bunny puberty, but it was like a goldfish situation. I'm sorry. Is that, is that does that confession do anything? Uh, yes, like but magic? then you remember, you remember the hint that uh, uh, whoever this is, probably not Jeremy gave you before the at the eight minute timer and it was like you can dress up a situation however you want and susan but you lie to your family and okay there's a, so and there's a rabbit thing is, i've already ripped through. open the easter bunny i rip it down and i turn it into a costume and i become the easter bunny wait i i mean i say that in my voice but mm-hmm. yeah all right now you're wearing the the the, the bunny i suit. scream it as i do it because i'm panicking yeah. <laughs> that's fair <laughs> Does it do uh, anything? I'm, I'm no, wearing the Easter no. costume and I'm apologizing. I didn't hear a sorry. I'm sorry. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> okay, just because I click, just because I'm on your side. Uh, put clothing on the rabbit. Just like Aunt oh. Susan did. I rip off all my. I rip off all my clothing. Yeah. Uh, and uh, oh god, oh Christ, no. Yeah. So <laughs> this is worse than my bunny. If you imagine my avatar here. The pink is my skin, so I take off my beige shirt and my blue pants, and I'm just this, but all pink. Uh, yeah, and I'm just doing this, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, now it's all for the world to see. And uh, and I, I, I put my clothes on the Easter Bunny. Right on. So you put your shirt on the Easter Bunny, and one of the lights, ding, goes on. And then you put your pants on the Easter Bunny, ding, another light goes on. And then you put your brassiere on the the... Easter Bunny, and the third like goes, yeah, put my brassiere on the yes. Easter Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and and with that, the 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 latch on the bunny's neck like disconnects, and the steel door squeaks open, and there is four seconds left on the timer, and it like pauses above the door. 
<laughs> all right. So we're all gonna, very good I'm gonna, at this. I'm gonna Indiana Jones it for that door. Yeah, do it. You, you just, no, no, it, like the timer paused. You guys are safe now. Take, oh, okay, never mind. Take me with you. I'm stuck in this cage with handcuffs. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Bubble Butt. Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> and I grab more fucking butter and I. I mean, we I don't, save the cage. cage. I just need to get out. Fucking of butter is that like the brand name of the we are using? <laughs> and I just like yeah, put my foot, foot up on one side of the cage and I grab him, yank you out. Why yeah. do I leave out the one you... person who still has the handcuffs on? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, so yeah do I can... did I die upon this door opening or do I die at the end? No, no, you're you're alive. You're just naked. Um, and uh, yeah, you try and pull Bubble Butt out of the cage, but the cage is like Bubble Butt, like like her weight distribution, like her butt is like a hundred pounds, and then the rest of her body is like twenty pounds. So she's just balanced up on the pedestal, and you tried to pull her out, and you just pulled her off the pedestal just because all the weight was in her butt. And then and I'll just uh, crawl out, so we're good. Yeah. No, the butt. Uh, the, I like the cage on your butt. It stays. <laughs> yeah, it stays. Yeah, it stays. Yeah. And everyone agrees. Yeah, they, <laughs> the cage okay. stays. And then now, now we can all just walk through wow, the next that, door. Wow, that cage looks real good on you. Thank you. You're really <laughs> nice, flattering to your figure. <laughs> nice butt cage. <laughs> now, give, given that this is the third room and there's three of us, I'm going to presume this is the final puzzle. You presume correctly, <laughs> and Susan. Okay, as well, I have you a are the day you were born. <clears throat> I have a feeling that we're not going to get more than ten minutes on this one. I have a feeling that if we could even solve this puzzle in six minutes, we'd really be doing well. And uh, uh, yeah, fucking twist for the last one. You only get six minutes and twenty seconds. Timer starts oh, now. Jeremy, we'd love ten though. You, I, uh, you could have ten if you wanted, but I've been told that maybe that six minutes is better. Yeah, fuck it, ten minutes. You get ten minutes. <laughs> You're the game master, Jeremy. I mean, Mister Disembodied Voice Man. Thank you, man. Thank you. So I won't dead name you either. So, what's in this room? Yeah, you walk into the third room, and uh, you see uh, in the middle of the room there's this like giant glass tube that goes from like the floor to the ceiling and it appears to be like half full with like what appears to be molten bubbling hot chocolate or melted chocolate and uh you look to the the left of the tube and there's like a bunch of items that are kind of like on pillars with like little lights shining on them and you're kind of like taking it all in and but then you look up and you see from the ceiling that there is another one of your relatives up in the the tube, oh my God. it's Aunt, it's Aunt Gerd Gerdith. <laughs> <laughs> Aunt Gerdith, I haven't seen you in a fortnight. And uh, she's kind of like standing on a like a steel grate, and much like a French press, she is being like slowly lowered into the bubbling hot hot chocolate, and you can see her just like running to the edge of the tube closest to you and just like smacking on the tube and she's screaming but you can't hear anything and then you look can to someone... the oh yeah go for it yep can someone refresh me on whether aunt gerdeth has died in the past year <laughs> and you can see her like mouthing like i'm alive please help okay me. <laughs> Uh, right, what what are the items on the table or in the, uh, surrounding the tube? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, so on the eight pedestals that are surrounding the tube, there is a Easter egg, a Kegel egg, a uh, cup of gravy, a chocolate <laughs> rabbit, stool softener, a turkey baster, lube, and Vicodin. And you can ask for those items at, again whenever you want. I take all the Vicodin. <laughs> <laughs> do you uh, <laughs> how, how much is there how, how much is there of like all of these items uh they are all full if they can be full okay <laughs> you're gonna take all the vicodin i take i take enough vicodin just give me like a real nice buzz um, um i pass it around I, i'm not greedy i share i i take all i take enough stool softener to give me a nice buzz <laughs> <laughs> And okay, by that, so, I mean that buzzing feeling in your stomach when you really got to poop. Yeah. Also, <laughs> so you both like 
both reach for the the respective uh, uh, pills. And uh, as you pick up the Vicodin, like a green light, like boom, like <laughs> like shines above the the Vicodin. And as nephew Craig grabs the stool softener, like another green light, like doo, goes above it. And he's like, "Wow, fuck!" You... <laughs> and the timer stops. It's like so. It took you over twenty minutes to solve both those puzzles, but you solved this one in forty-two seconds. <laughs> what the fuck? How did you know? <laughs> An ant nose. <laughs> uh, just it's just it's just a hunch. I just I just grab something at random. I just, you know, just... No, we knew exactly <laughs> what we would do, and isn't that right, nephew <laughs> Craig? I I how I no no <laughs> that is not. There's no fucking way you guys do. Okay, no. I, I'm gonna go over and open the door. Yeah. Okay, the door opens and. <laughs> yeah, I I, I grab a few more Vicodin for the road and I walk off into the sunset. Right on. You now have a minus five to your uh, psyche rolls. Hell yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, understanding. Which one? Which one's the logic one? Probably understanding, but honestly, I'm probably minus to all of them on Vic enough Vicodin. <laughs> Actually, yeah, that's true. Okay, minus five to all rolls. Uh, yeah. So you walk through the the third door, and you see like, uh, like these like marble. This like really epic like marble staircase going up to where there's like a uh, a bel red velvet throne where you see like none other than the Easter Bunny sitting with his like legs crossed as he's holding a cigar and he's like well done everyone you've solved all my riddles you no wait you solved you solved one riddle and you had <laughs> to manhandle the first riddle <laughs> and through, through sheer dumb luck you solved the third and yet, somehow, you will all remain alive. Well done. Well done. Now, before I uh, render my judgment... Exactly what we were doing in the third riddle. I, apparently. It's fucking crazy. Um, <laughs> before I administer the final trial, uh, would you all like to guess what each other's secrets are? <laughs> so, I'm going to guess that... Uh... <laughs> I'm going to guess that Aunt Susan uh, actually did try to dress up my bunny like the Easter Bunny and kill it. Uh, and that is correct. Okay. <laughs> and oh, she replaced, wow. it. She replaced it with another rabbit. I'm going to guess that Bubble Butt broke the wheel off of a door. <laughs> <laughs> In incorrect. Oh, I'm going to guess that... The secret uh, remains. I'm going to guess that nephew Craig uh, spiked the punch bowl with Vicodin last year. Uh, ooh, so close. So close, Aunt Susan. Spiked the punch bowl with stool softener. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, Vicodin. So close. Hmm. But yet, so far. I think nephew Craig... Took some stool soft and Vicodin and pooped in the punch bowl. <laughs> colder, colder. I'll give you one more guess, just for shits and gigs. Just for shits. That's what, that's what shits. the brand of stool oh soft God. is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is a great okay. fucking name for stool soft. Sorry. Yeah, Wait, I guess that Bubble Butt put Vicodin oh. and stool soft in the punch <laughs> <Yeah>. bowl. <laughs> Incorrect. Nothing Your about, guesses are done. Oh, about, god damn. Nothing about mine was revealed whatsoever. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Mm. I don't know why. Oh, it was in the first trial. There was a, Did there you was want a to make any guesses? <laughs> Especially as the nephew Craig's complicity. All we know is that it's something to do with stool softener, maybe. The, the narratives are endless. Can you give us a hint? Uncle Craig stole all the Vicodin, and that's why Uncle I mean, Nephew Craig's in uh, I don't know. I'll give you a hint. The, it does relate to Vicodin and mm. and stool softener. That is correct. <laughs> and and yeah. potentially one more uh, item that was in the last try. Okay, so turkey baster. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, does, no, it doesn't have to be not, the turkey baster. It's not that one. What are the other items? I was there under was... a lot of stress. My bunny had just died. There was Lou? There was egg. Kegel egg. Yep. Yeah. 
Um, I grab the giggle egg because you can always do more of that, and I, I start doing giggles. Yeah. While we think. <laughs> Pelvic floor health is very important. Right. Yeah, I'm stumped. <laughs> <laughs> what were the other items? Did uh, you base the turkey in stool softener and Vicodin? It was Vicodin, stool softener, turkey baster, lube, Easter egg, Kegel egg, gravy, and chocolate rabbit. Gravy and chocolate rabbit. Have you filled the chocolate rabbit with those those drugs using the turkey baster? And I then... told you, Jeremy, I'm not good at puzzles. I always cheat. <laughs> <laughs> and Susan, your days are numbered. Everyone knows your secret. Yep. <laughs>